today I have a special guest for you who is gonna share, you know, uh, who literally like went from zero just in five years. Five years in the country, from, you know, he came to Canada in 2017. Now, just five years rolling down, he owned 300 plus rental units in Canada and started with nothing. And he has some advice for you. If you are want to have the dream life that you are aspiring for, then you know make sure you listen carefully to the end of this video. Namaskar, welcome back to another video with Aditya Soma. So on this channel, if you're new here, I talk about how to achieve financial freedom investing in real estate. And you know, I myself achieved financial freedom through investing. And also, you know, we talk about uh, how to grow your sales uh, business if you're getting into real estate or if you're already in real estate, how to, you know, make over a million dollars and all those things. If you're someone for those things, then make sure to follow. And without any ado, I want to invite a special guest. You know, I really, really mean a special guest because I know for the last like two and a half, three, three years, three and a half years now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, and I seen in front of me, like literally uh, two and a half years ago, got the first apartment building, like 10 units. From there on now, like doing crazy shit, like crazy investing. And not only that, father physical maintaining the body <laughs> and, 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 and uh, having other businesses like pharmaceutical like this man has crazy stories that you have to hear so without any ado Mina brother thank you so much for thank you very being much here. now I appreciate the so, answer. thank you very much yeah I tried to cover a little bit there but uh, you know for those who don't know who are you you know where do you come from what's your story yeah well uh story is pretty simple and pretty typical to the average immigrant yeah uh, i came here you know i got my uh, permanent residence back in 2017 early 2017 so you're not that old in care country yeah i'm fresh off the boat like they say literally <laughs> five years yeah that's pretty much it so you haven't been here before that i came to take a couple of exams and left you know just coming that's to take it. an exam and leave because mm. i didn't have any work permits or anything like that and uh I think this this country is very helpful. Like if you do just just a tiny bit above average yeah. in terms of work, you get like rewarded almost instantly. Yeah. So then I started, you know, working in the pharmacy world, and you know, progressed from there. But I, I know that you also not only just a pharmacist anymore. You own pharmaceutical some stores, yes. right? Yeah. Like how did that journey happen? Yeah. So like I, I count myself very very lucky because. When I first came here, like I was, I was working on the street, just like pretty much most people who work. I was selling flags. I could show yeah. you pictures of that. You know, just buying flags and trying to sell them on yeah. the corner. You know, things like that. Just trying to make just some to money. Survive. Yeah, you just gotta eat, right? Yeah. And it wasn't really in my head. It wasn't a struggle because mm -hmm. it's fantastic. You're working. I made money. I'm feeding myself and my family. It's beautiful. Yeah. And I, the only thing that I learned from back home is like. You nothing's for granted. Nobody yep. owes you shit. Yep. You got to do the work, right? Yep. And then I started meeting people like on the street. Hey, what do you do? I'm a pharmacist, blah blah. And I met one guy named Mike, mm -hmm. and he saw me and he's like, "Come to my pharmacy later." Mm -hmm. and I was on the street, and then he invited me over. I went to his pharmacy. He's like, "You want to learn pharmacy? I'm going to teach you pharmacy. Wow. Come start working." And then he just I came in first, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh, wiping the floors, so uh, you're doing the everything. whatever I had to do. What What do you need me to do? I'll do it. Yeah. And it, he helped me quite instantly, quite fast, and without really any expectation of uh, return, mm -hmm. which is something I I will always appreciate, and something I strive to do probably for somebody else. But it's very very helpful to find someone, of course. Yeah. However, that doesn't put you in like that doesn't remove the responsibility from you yeah. to go out and find something or someone but you, you always know, will the thing is like he didn't randomly choose you you he saw something in you right like without seeing like you're working there you're working your ass off to do something to achieve something or something you said to him caught his attention yeah i was i think i was just hungry right like yeah. i'm not i'm a pharmacist cool but i'm not a pharmacist here so i got to do what i have to do yeah. to, to make it work and he was like, yeah, I That's want people like that, right? So he helped me a lot, taught mm -hmm. me everything. And here I am. We started uh, together. Like he started teaching me from the ground up, mm -hmm. basically. Like this is a bank account. This is how you look wow. at Like he gave me his bank account passwords to the pharmacy to see how business flows, right? Like mm -hmm. what was his income? What is, I didn't know the basic shit, right? Yeah. Income expenses. This is where you get your money from. This is what you have to pay. 
it's how employees like mm. it was very very helpful and then from there I found a little uh, place mm -hmm. that was essentially there was a landlord he bought a building mm -hmm. and it was just the school before and I negotiated with him I'm like listen I don't have money I don't have anything I'd like to open a pharmacy mm -hmm. and he was like, okay, but what can you do? And I started, we get like a pharmacy that's in the garbage. We got it. We, you know, put it up just to get started. Didn't take any money, but the only thing that it took is just like, you got to stand outside. You got to talk to more people. Mm. And that's one of the things that my mentor always told me is like, the first rule is be the first one. He, he used to tell me that like every time he's like, today you tell yourself, I'm going to go first. Yeah. I told him, what does that mean? He's like, just everything you wake up. If you go to a store, if that's how your mentality is, you go to a store, you look at someone, say hi first. You look at this guy, smile first. Yeah. You're going to, someone is asking a question, ask first. Just, just be that yeah. guy because that puts your mindset in a place where, okay, I'm open to everything. I'm going to do whatever I can to get this done. And it just gets your mind in that mindset. Just take action. Yeah. Don't stop and uh, think about it. It doesn't matter. Just take more <laughs> yeah, action. Yeah, that's true. So true. Yeah. So, that's and now like he's your partner? Yeah. So, he's my uh, partner in the, the pharmacy and then... You know, we got a couple of other places, pretty much the same uh, manner, you know, startups yeah, and yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I sold some and then I'm more, I still have like pharmacy and uh, clinic, you know, mm -hmm. hiring physicians and pharmacists and things like that. And then got into real estate really? as well. Yeah. So first of all, that, that very inspiring story, because, you know, one thing I can get out of this is like, you know, no matter what you have, if you're hungry and if you're willing to, you know, work and be that first one, people will start to give. Like, I have this similar kind of story. Like, I had people, you know, giving me opportunities just being seeing that hungriness, right? Like, you know, that's how we met. Yeah, literally. Yeah, yeah. You, you give me the first deal like we did was like million dollars. Like, it was like 20,000 commission for me. But it came out of that relation that, you know, I was always like out there. So, love that. So, if you're someone starting out, like, get that clearly. And so from there on now, the businesses are going well and it's only like probably like three years into the country and you're already having this business, a lot of crazy shit happening there. Then how, how you got into real estate and why you got into real estate? Yeah, so that's kind of like an interesting story. And it actually wasn't, go, it wasn't going that well because uh, at the time I was just working, you know, 80 hours a week, God, 70 so hours like a week. Completely just, your own business. It's just me, right? Mm. I was doing the deliveries. Mm. Was cleaning, like just doing everything, because yeah. that's what I thought I had to do. And at the time, that is correct. You you have to do everything that you can, yeah, because you have time, right? And you yeah. don't have money, so you either have time or money. Yeah. So you don't have money, you have time, and you have mm. a shit ton of time. Don't tell me you don't have time, because yeah. you're 100 percent. <laughs> yeah. Like, just people underestimate the amount of time yeah. that's available. There's so much time. Yeah. Like, for you, if you're gonna like dissect it and work. So that's what I was doing, and I was just go. And well, it's a pharmacy, so I was standing, I had a shopper's right across the road, mm -hmm. so I used to leave my pharmacy because nobody's there, yeah. so, right? and I stood in front of the other pharmacy, like, hi, uh, hi, <laughs> so my name is Mina, can you please come to my pharmacy, these guys are super rich, I don't have any, really? I'll help you, I know your name, here's my cell phone, here's the, so that's how I was starting to build, when I got some base, I started to feel uh, a little bit, you know, well, I'm just doing the same thing over and over. Mm -hmm. And there was a point of diminishing returns, right? Mm -hmm. When you, you could do all the things and grow here, but after a while, it's not going to grow exponentially anymore. And I was starting to feel like, ah, I want to do something else because I get excited yeah. by new projects. And uh, real estate, just, I read it, you know, it was like everybody read the yeah, yeah. Rich <laughs> Dad Poor Dad. And okay. like, ah, shit, <laughs> it changes your yeah. life, right? They're like, ah. Because it's a very interesting book. You read it, you change your life, yeah. but you don't know what to do, right? <laughs> like you close it, you feel yeah. really good, but like, okay, what now? Yeah. And then now you got to explore. So to me, that exploring was like, I didn't know what to do. So I started looking at videos on YouTube, yeah. right? Learning what is the 1% or all yeah, the standard yeah, yeah, yeah. stuff that everybody does and tried applying it to where I live. It didn't work. Like they say 1% rule and then you look, okay, a condo's 800,000 renting for 2000 what, does, what, does, what are these guys talking sense. about? Yeah. yeah, so I took a drive to London mm -hmm. and I was doing that for about two months, twice a week. Just I didn't know what, what I was doing. I just mm. thought, I'm better there than here. Okay. So I used to go and just drive, look at Google Maps, look at the streets, what, which street is good, which mm. is bad, just talking to random people on the street. And then I eventually started to know people in the network 
right? And then yeah. you, you meet this guy, and then you yeah. meet this guy. Like I met Matt McGeever. He, yeah. he told me I want to go to Windsor. Here's Aditya. You invited me to your house. All this, I had nothing. Yeah. I didn't have money to buy, and I didn't have any real estate. didn't have anything except my hunger, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I meet Aditya. He immediately knows I'm not wasting his time. I'm just trying. Yeah, yeah. And people who are doing this is a very important thing because a lot of the times we lack self-confidence because, oh, I don't have units, so I can't talk to this guy. Yeah. But the very important thing is this guy usually doesn't care about how much units you have, but sees the hunger because yeah. this is something you can't fake. Yeah. If you're hungry, you want to do shit, people will respect that. Oh, 100%. Like it is absolutely, to me, it's mind blowing how many people are like, don't have you that. have nothing to prove what you're doing, but I see that you will yeah. do what you're yeah. saying. That's the most important thing. So you, you get to meet people and then just things start accumulating. The more things you do, you just got to get shit done. The yeah. more things you do, you'll get all the opportunity. I think it's quite fascinating how, it's not that easy, but it's very simple. The, yeah. Very I, I completely agree. Like, you know, sometimes I feel like, what? We just been in this country a few years ago. What do we have now? Like, it's crazy. It's, sometimes it's like, you know, so much gratitude for the place. But at the same time, unfortunately, in this world, because of social media and all this, like, information, access to information is everywhere. But getting out, being there, knowing, you know, just like what you said, like driving to that street, driving to that city, getting to know people now, like, you know, meeting having lunches that's simple stuff but like not many people are doing it no oh, 100% and that's why they don't know what's happening so great hope this video gave you some inspiration to go after your dreams you know go towards the light that you want pursue your dreams and you know uh, if there's anything else i can help you with let me know in the comments below and also let me know in the comments below what did you like from this video what is your takeaway from this video in the comments below and if you enjoyed it make sure to hit that like button and subscribe and feel free to share with the people you know friends that you know who might get benefit from this message so looking forward to see you on the next video until then take care